Beloved. Beloved in Christ, this is another day. The Almighty Jehovah, He has given us a bread. So, beloved, let us pray. My Lord and my God, immortal, everlasting God, you alone is worthy. Today is another day you have given us a life around the whole world for your children. Father, it is you alone that can do it for us. You are so good. You are marvelous. You are wonderful. The king of glory, take all your glory because you deserve it. You share your glory with no man. So Father, we thank you and thank you and thank you for giving us a breath. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. He has given us a word. And the title of the message, Jesus Christ, the true vine. Yes, he is. He alone is worthy to praise and to honor and to worship. That's why he has given us a word. I also take the opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenewu for allowing yourself that you listen to end time prophets. May you all be blessed. And also your heart desire, may God Almighty make it for you. You are welcome on the platform. Amen. In Jesus' name. Beloved, let us go to the scripture, which is John 15. And the verses are 1 to 10. Let us hear the word of God. The true man is our Lord Jesus Christ. And I read verse 1, 15, 1 going. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear the fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear a fruit, he prom, and that may be, and that may bear more fruit. Three. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear a fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Five, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abide in me, I am in him. Bear more fruit, for without me, you cannot do nothing. Six, if anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Seven, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire. You shall be done for you. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. Nine, as the father loved me, I also love you. Abide in my love. Ten, you keep my commandment. You will abide in my love. As I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who knows you. Beloved, the vine, he is talking to you and I. It is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit that is in us. We have to, we have the intimacy 
with him in daily basis as he is the true word of God. He is the true. That's why Christ is telling us, because if we abide in him, that is the Holy Ghost in us, it is a fellowship. And also the spirit of God, he teaches us the word with understanding. And also it must be accordingly. It must be in daily basis. It is a fellowship. It is the Holy Spirit that moves our being, our going out, our coming in. We cannot make it without the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit, he guides and protects as he is a friend to us. And he protects us from the evil ones. Satan don't have anything for you and I. As the Holy Spirit speak to us in so many ways because he will direct our path. Beloved, let's go back to the way. Christ is saying he is the true man. That is the Holy Spirit in you. And beloved, he wants you and I to bear fruit. That means we have to go out there and witness and preach the gospel to those who does not know him. And the more we do this, we can win so for our Lord Jesus Christ, for his kingdom. That's why we have to go there and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he is saying, we are cleansed because the spirit of God, he lives in us. He directs our path. He teaches us. He lets us understand the word of God. So when we stand the word of God, we have to teach other people. We have to proclaim the gospel to them also and let them know the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we have to abide in him and the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our teacher, our guide, and our friend. He will let us go out there and witness and to win more souls for the kingdom of God. And he said, if you abide in me, I, the Lord Jesus, I am with you. And he continued to say that if you don't abide in him, you will be cut off and thrown into the lake of fire. because. He is telling us. He knows because he created you and I. The devil don't have anything for you. The tempter, he is a deceiver. He comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. Only Christ, our Lord Jesus, the owner of life, came so that you and I will have life and have it abundantly. Beloved, he is a good God. So this afternoon, he is telling us to abide in him so that we bear more fruit, so that so many souls will be won for the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a savior. Beloved, if we abide in him and his word abide in us, anything that we ask, there is nothing too hard for our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the provider supplier and the planter. He has taken care of us all these years and he continued to do it. That's why he is saying that if we abide in him, anything that we ask, he will do it. He is a merciful God. He is a good father. He has done it over and over and over and he continue doing it, doing it for you and I. Who can do this? There is no one. He is a merciful, loving, kind father. Oh, we give you all the glory. Beloved, when we ask, he will do it to glorify the father. He can do it for you and I. Beloved, why are we not 
giving him all his glory. Then rather you let the demons and Satan and his agent to twist your mind. It is time that you give your life to Christ. Today is the day of repentance. Tomorrow it will be too late. And as he said, if you don't bear fruit, you will be cut down and throw it, throw you into the lake of fire. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of God. Beloved, we should be aware. We continue. Nine, as my father loved me, I also love you. Abide in my love. Beloved, he loved us. That's why he laid his life for you and I, while we were yet sinners. That is Romans 5, 8. He has been doing it. So beloved, it is time. So that we love him in a return. What can we do for him? There is nothing we can do just to glorify him, just to worship him, just to praise him, and just to pray with our lips. We have to do it because he has done so much for us, we and our children and also our family. There is nothing which is too hard for God that he cannot do. Beloved, today the word has come. It is time we change our thoughts. It is time we repent and run to our Lord Jesus Christ. Tomorrow it will be too late. When the trumpet sounds, where are you heading to? There is no any shelter that you can run into. So this afternoon, the word has come forth. Let us change our mind and serve the almighty Jehovah in sincere and in truth because he is a good father. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor for giving us a message. This is about repentance. We have to love him. We have to honor him. As tomorrow, when the trumpet sound, it will be too late. Father, we give you all your glory. We give you all your honor for giving us a word. This is what we need, beloved in Christ. Beside the word of God, everything is useless. We thank you and thank you and thank you, covenanted God, for giving us a message. And this is what we need. The soul need the word of God in daily basis and also the fellowship with the Holy Spirit so that we can abide fully in you. Unto you, O oh Lord, your word has come forth. We appreciate it and we thank you for giving us the message. This is the end time message that we need. To strengthen us and be happy about the word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miracle working God. I take this opportunity, Jehovah Jara, Jehovah Nisi, Almighty God that this afternoon by your mercy and your goodness so that you will protect your end time prophet and you bless him and the family and also his, listen, his listeners. May your will shall be done 